Hello everyone. In our last video we went through the concept of GraphQL and compared it with REST. In next video I will make a video for various important concepts in GraphQL. For now this video focuses on the usage of GraphQL by creating a server and consuming the local host service and client. Let's begin. I created the GraphQL server using Node.js. For this I integrated it with Apollo server. You can check description where I have pasted the Node and Apollo server installation in description down below. Here you can see there is a book object which contains dummy data for book. It contains ID, title and the author name. This is the book schema, which has fields as, ID title and the author. As GraphQL is strongly typed every field should have a type defined. Like the string, integer etc. Next. Every GraphQL service has a query type. A GraphQL query is used to read or fetch values. Here, we are fetching the array of book object. Mutations. A mutation is a GraphQL operation that allows you to insert new data or modify existing data on the server. Here, we have included add and delete operation as mutation. Now since we have defined the query and mutation types, it is time to build actual operations for query and mutations. You can pause the video and go through this simple code. I would now go and start, the local host server. You can see the local host server is upon running over port 4000. At first you see the default Apollo interface as we are using Apollo SDK. Next, on clicking, query your server, button. The interface would take you to Apollo Playground. Here, we can see our query and mutations which we created just now in Node.js. Let's see the query first. Notice, we have all the three objects which we added for query schema. We can select these and the selection would appear in the operation section. Then, on hitting the query button we get the desired result from our dummy data. Let's check the mutations now. After selecting fields from mutation scheme they appear as parameters with dollar sign. This means we have to supply parameter values to these objects. For this dash we have the variable section just below the operations section. You can pause and see how we are passing values. We are using the first three object for adding new object values. Press query button to add a new object. Let's query again to see if object is added or not. Great dash. We can see three book data rows. Let's see the delete operation now. Select the deleted object and pass value to it from the variable section. You can see the object with ID 3 has been deleted. Hey there! Now since you have seen how to create a simple GraphQL server, let's move to the client side. We are using Swift Playground as the client to consume the local host service we just created. You can see we can pass the query in the body section of header. We are using localhost as API URL. Let me execute this code. You can see that we have got the desired results. Let's see how we can use authentication in GraphQL client. For this I am using one open source GraphQL API of Hazura. This is the API URL here. Also we have authorization token here, let's go back to the Swift client. 
We have the desired URL and the query. When I execute this code it gives me authentication error. Looks like the token has expired. Let me log into the Hazura again and update the token. Let's execute now. We see the desired results. Let's check the Hazura Playground and simulate same data to client. Select any query of your choice and get the data. Let's go back to client and change our query. Now execute. We see the same results. We can do the same API testing in Postman as well. You can see the Postman interface has facilitated GraphQL option in body section. You can write the query in the query section. Let's execute. And we can see the desired results. For an update you can see soon Postman will launch a separate module for GraphQL. We will see you in next series. Thank you for watching.